Hi everyone, I'm Igor Nagata. In this session, I would like to talk about the way for updating materialized view rapidly. First, let me introduce us. I am Igor Nagata and a software engineer at SRA OSS Inc. Japan. I am in charge of R&D and now working on incremental view maintenance called IVM. This is today's topic. Takuma Hoshia is also a software engineer and a member of our IVM project. He will show a demonstration in this talk. This is the outline of this talk. Firstly, I'll introduce incremental view maintenance. Shortly, this is a way to refresh materialized views rapidly. Then, I'll talk about our implementation of IBM and progress since the initial patch. Next, I'll show some behavior examples, including demonstration and performance evaluation. And finally, I'll summarize this talk. First, a view is a virtual relation defined by a view definition query. The query is executed when view is referred to by a select statement. On the other hand, materialized view is a view whose results are stored in database, and this enables a quick response to clients. This is a useful, for example, for analyzing a large data in data warehouse. However, materialized view needs to be maintained after a base table is modified to keep consistency between views and base tables. Refreshing materials of view is a way of the maintenance. When refresh materials of view command is issued, the contents of materials of view is updated to the latest state. However, this needs recomputing the contents of the view from scratch, so it takes a long time. With concurrently option, the materialized view is refreshed with a weaker lock, but it still needs recomputing the content from scratch. Incremental view maintenance, IVM, is another technique to view maintenance. This computes and applies only the incremental changes to the materials of views. This figure shows IVM formally. From database tables, con contents, and view definition, we can compute the contents of materials of view. After base table is updated, we get new base table. Using this and the query, we can get the updated materials view. This green path is a recomputation and what refresh materialized view commands does. On the other hand, if you we can compute the delta of view, change on views from changes on tables. And we can apply this to the materialized view. We can get the new materialized view data without recomputing. This red path is a process of incremental view maintenance. The first patch of our IBM implementation was submitted to PGSQL hackers a year ago, and the subject is 
implementing incremental view maintenance. I also had a presentation about it at PGCon last year. Using this IBM feature, materialized views can be updated automatically and incrementally when base tables are updated. So you don't need to write trigger to maintain materialized views by yourself. So how effective is our IBM implementation? This is an example of TPCH query 1, 01, query 01. This is a query to aggregate on a large table. With scale factor 1, this query took about 11 seconds, while select on the materialized view took only 3 milliseconds. So it is a quick response. However, refresh of this materialized view took, took 24 seconds. On the other hand, when one tuple on the base table is updated, its incremental maintenance took only 22 milliseconds. That is, the view is updated so rapidly. In the initial patch, we supported selection, projection, inner join, distinct class, and views with tuple duplicates. Additionally, the current patch supports also some aggregates, self-join, outer join, sub-queries, including exist clouds. It also supports refresh with no date commands, low level security, and PG dump and restore. I'll also explain this progress in this talk. Okay, I'll explain the basic theory of IVM. So, View definition is described in a relational algebra form. This is an example of the simple natural join of table R and S. Change of base table is represented like this. This nabla, uh, inverted Greek, Greek delta, means toughest delete from the table. And the Greek delta means tuples inserted into the table. Using these uh, view definition and these changes, we can calculate the changes on the view like this and update the view by applying these changes to views. This is an example. Then, Contents of table R and S are like this. The natural join view with contents will be like this. After table R is changed, the deleted and inserted changes are like this. The changes on the view are calculated by joining table R changes and base table S, respectively. Finally, the view is updated by applying calculated changes like this. About timing of view maintenance, there are two approaches, immediate maintenance and deferred maintenance. In immediate maintenance, views are updated in the same transaction where the base table is updated. And in deferred maintenance, views are updated after the transaction is committed. For example, when view is accessed or 
as a response to user command like refresh were updated periodically and so on. In our implementation, we started from immediate approach since it requires less number of codes. Deferred approach needs a mechanism to manage logs for recording changes of base tables. Implementing this is a not trivial work. This is an overview of IBM implementation. There are three processes. First, when a base table is modified, its change is extracted. Second, changes on view is calculated from changes on tables and base tables and view definition query. Finally, the changes on view are applied to the view and view is updated. In our implementation, table changes are extracted using after triggers and transition tables. Changes on view is calculated basically based on relational or bug algebra. And the change are applied to the view using SQL query. For creating a materialized view with IBM support, we use create incremental materialized view. This is a tentative syntax to create materialized views with IBM support. This incremental keyword is an extension of our implementation. At creating materials views, after triggers are created on the all base tables, these are created automatically and internally for insert, delete, and update commands and as a statement level trigger and with transition tables. Transition tables is a feature of after trigger. Using this, changes on tables can be referred to in the trigger function like normal tables. There are two tables. One contains tuples deleted from the table. Another contains tuples inserted into the table. In theory, these tables are corresponding to number R and delta R respectively. When calculating deltas on views, we use the views definition query with some rewrites. In these rewrites, the modified table is replaced with a transition table like this. And multiplicity of duplicate tuples are counted using count as aggregate like this. In theory, the result corresponds to number V and delta V. Finally, changes on view is applied to view. When deleting tuples from views, tuples to be deleted are identified by joining the delta table with the view. The tuples are deleted as many as specified multiplicity by number numbered using row number function like this. Then inserting tuples into the view, 
tuples are duplicated to the specified multiplicity using generate thread function like this. Next, I'll explain, I'll explain our progress since the initial part. Now, we are supporting some aggregates, self-joins, after joins, and some queries, including exist clause. We also support low-level security, refresh wizard with no data command, and pg dump restore, and so on. We are now supporting some built-in aggregate function. That is count, sum, mean, max, average, with or without group by clause. As a restriction, expressions specified in group by clause must, must appear in the target list of the view. Aggregate views have one or more hidden columns. For example, count value. Count value is stored for multiplicity of duplicated tuples, and count and some values are stored for average function. Average are performed on table deltas, table changes, and the values in the view, aggregate value in the view are updated using this result. The way of updating view depends the kind of aggregate function. Here are examples of updating aggregated values. We can update count or some value by simply applying, applying the result calculated from delta tables. Uh, average can be updated using sum and count values stored as hidden columns. In min or max cases, it becomes more complicated. When tuples are inserted, the smaller value between the current mean value and the value calculated from the delta table is used. When tuples are deleted, if the old mean values is deleted from the view, it needs to recompute the new values from base tables. Here, I'll show a simple performance evaluation of aggregate view. I created two materialized views of aggregates. On PG Vent's account, the scale factor is a thousand. One is a normal materialized view, and another is with IVM option. This is a result. The refresh of the normal materialized view took more than 30 seconds, while updating the tuple in the base table took only 30 milliseconds. It's a thousand times faster than the normal refresh. So IBM is so rapid. Of course, the view was updated automatically and correctly. Next, I'll explain about simultaneous modification of multiple tables. This is possible when modifying CTEs, triggers, or foreign key constraints is used. Note that self-join is uh, essentially the same situation since same tables in a, a query can be regarded as different tables with the same contents. 
In theory, when multiple tables are modified simultaneously, we need pre-update state of tables as well as post-update state of tables. In our implementation, pre-update table state is available by applying table deltas inversely, especially inserted tuple can be removed by filtering with X-min and C-min system columns. This is a query to get pre-update table state. Upper part is removing, removing inserted tuples, and this part is appending deleted tuples. In addition, when multiple tables are modified simultaneously, after triggers are fired more than once, so each trigger extracts and stores each table's change, and the view is updated incrementally in the final after trigger call. Okay, next, I'll explain after join support. In after join, there are null extended tuples, that is, dangling tuples, which appear when the join condition does not meet. So, tuples are inserted into a table. Dangling tuples might be deleted from the view, and when tuples are deleted from a view, dangling tuples might be inserted into the view. As a result, the view is maintained in two steps. First, calculating and applying delta similar to inner join case. And second, handling additional dangling tuples. I implemented this based on Larson and Tso's algorithm with theory, some theory expansion to allow tuple duplicates. Here is a performance evaluation of inner and after join view. There are two materialized views. One is inner join and another is full after, full after join on pgbench tables. Also, there are three conditions of indexes on materialized view. No index without index, and an index on the primary key columns of base tables, and additional two index on columns used in join conditions. This is a result of execution of updating a tuple. Ah, this, is, this is the execution time of updating a tuple in PGBench accounts. Refresh of this view took more than eight seconds. In all cases, IVM is faster than refresh. However, for effective maintenance, an appropriate index is required to such tuples to be deleted. And with additional indexes, the result shows comparable performance between inner and after join views. However, for effective maintenance of after join views, indexes on join condition columns are required to search dangling tuples in the view to be deleted or, in, or, for, or for inserted. As 
for subquery support. Uh, in our implementation, exist if a clause is supported. In implementation, the raw number count of the exist subquery is stored in the view as a hidden column. And when a table in this subquery is modified, if the count becomes zero, the tuple in the view should be deleted. Otherwise, the tuple remains in the view. Also, we support simple subqueries, including only selection, projection, or inner join. Okay. As as a progress, we are now supporting with no data. This is an option for create materials view or refresh commands. If this is specified, the triggers are dropped from base tables, and view is not automatically updated even when a base table is modified. Also, the materializer view becomes not scalable. To supporting role-level security, when a view is updated incrementally, base tables are accessed with the view owner's privilege. Also, pgdump and restore are now supporting the new syntax create incremental materialized view. And Previously, we are using temporary tables to store view deltas, but it caused several problems. For example, system table, system catalog brought and prepared transaction unavailables, and so on. Now we don't use this, and we don't use temporary tables, and we are using table store instead. Finally, we had improved view access performance. Previously, generate series function is used to output duplicated tuples, and so its overhead was so high. But now we don't use generate series function at select on views. Okay, now. Uh, here is a demonstration. Hoshi san will show the demonstration. My name is Takuma Hoshi. Currently, I am engineer at SRA OSS Inc. Japan too. I have participated in the development of IBM uh, since last year. I am in charge of some implementation of future and performance evolution. Today, I talk about simple demonstration of IVM. The environment used is tiny TPCC-like tables created with a JDBC runner. TPCC is a reproduction of the processes about transportation and sales of products in multiple warehouses. The data load was pre-created with a scale factor of 64. So, so this, this time I created a database with scale factor 64 so, and the database size is about 7 gigabytes. I try creating a matrix view that analyzes the number of payment, total amount, and maximum amount for each warehouse. This can be achieved by joining the three tables about warehouse, distinct, and history table, and using group by clause and aggregation function. The scale to use is like this. Okay. This result has about uh, 640 rows. 
To create a matrix view with IBM, simply add the incremental option to the create matrix view query. Uh, then, create ordinary matrix view about like this. This is a uh, ordinary matrix view. Okay, and then create matrix view with IBM. We can create like this. Only add incremental option. Okay. By the way, IPM trigger is created to detect the update of the base tables and uh, automatically update the matrix view with IPM. We can check IBM trigger with this command. These IBM triggers have a new depth type of small m. These triggers are created or deleted by creating and deleting matrix view and the refresh with no data command. Immediately after creation, the result is the same for normal matrix view and IBM, this result is the same. The different point is that the IBM is automatically updated to the latest state when the base table is updated. Uh, for example, add the payment history to the history table. This insert query is finished in a flash and I confirm IBM view The first row, the max, to max amount has changed and is the latest value uh, Of course, ordinary material view is still old So, if we execute refresh command with matrix view, the latest value is reflected by ordinary matrix view. But it takes some time. This example isn't too much time for a demo, but the difference, difference may be even bigger for a real large matrix view. Uh, by the way, in the current logic, the trigger is used to immediately update the matrix view in the transaction. So, rollback command will restore IBM. The first row is rollback. In this way, after updating the data, you can immediately check the overall impact with matrix view and select whether to reflect the data update. Okay, that is that is it for the demo. At last, I'll show current restrictions on our implementation. We are now supporting selection, projection, inner and outer join, distinct, some aggregate, select join, exist, and simple subqueries. On the other hand, we are not supporting other aggregates or user-defined aggregates and having complex subqueries, including aggregates or outer join and so on. 
CD, window functions, set operations, order by, and limit offset clause. Add to after joins. Uh, only simple equal join is supported, and it cannot be used together with aggregates or subqueries. And at the exist, we don't support what exists or not exists, and it cannot be used together with aggregate. We checked how many queries in TPC benchmark are supported. As a, as a result, nine of 22 TPCH queries are supported, and 20 of 99 TPC DC queries are supported. In both cases, order by and limit offset clauses are ignored. In TPC DS queries, satisfactory queries failed to CTEs, and 11 queries failed due to aggregate in subquery. Okay, in summary, we are now working on implementation of incremental view maintenance on PostgreSQL. This enables rapid and automatic update of materialized views. As progress since the initial patch, we are now supporting some aggregates, outer joins, self joins, and some and some sub queries. As the future works, we plan to relax restrictions. For example, views using CTEs or sub queries, including aggregates, and so on. Also, we would like to work on deferred maintenance using table change logs. We would need more performance improvement and some optimization too. The patch is proposed and discussed in PCSK Hackers mailing list. The subject is implementing incremental view maintenance and they are our GitHub repository. So we would appreciate it if you give us any feedback, any comment, any uh, suggestion. Oh, so we are waiting your feedback. That's all. Thank you.